And as newly sworn in officials take office, Alabama's lieutenant governor spoke on some of the priorities these next four years. And so WDHN state capital reporter Maddie Temple reports details. Lieutenant Governor Will Ainsworth says that the biggest thing he's learned in his first term is that relationships matter, and he says he'll be bringing that into these next four years. He says working with others, regardless of party, is important to move the state forward. In Montgomery, we get along with Democrats, and we get along with Republicans, and we try to find out what are the best policies that we can put in place to make our stay, state the best place to live. In working with Governor Ivey, Ainsworth says they'll be putting an emphasis on renewing economic incentives for businesses and supporting policy to make Alabama more military friendly. Governor Ivey's great to work with and you know uh, we kind of stay in our lane and you know stay on what we're focused on and uh, you know have a lot of respect for her and the job she's doing and uh, look forward to the next four years. When it comes to infrastructure Ainsworth has been vocal on social media about traffic backups on I-65. Everybody's frustrated going to the beach. He says widening that interstate is a top infrastructure goal he aims to accomplish while in office. One of my goals and initiatives is to make sure that 65 is, you know, that it's six lane, right? That we have three lanes going both ways because everybody in the state's been there when you have a wreck or you have an issue and it just is so slow. In his role, Ainsworth also presides over the state Senate. He says it's hard to say whether any gambling bills might pass this session, but thinks the people should have a vote. As Lieutenant Governor, I don't have a vote on that because that's a constitutional amendment. Um, you know, my position's always been let the people vote and, um, you know, so, and that's the same position I have now. Looking ahead, Ainsworth says workforce development and looking after small businesses will be other priorities. Now Ainsworth says he also expects to see a package of bills this session dealing with preparing students for jobs in the aerospace industry. He says that is a much needed step for the state. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.